You know what time it is. It's the community 72 hour fast. I absolutely love doing these. Not only do I get the benefit of a longer fast, which we'll talk about later in this video. I also get the benefit of doing this with community members and like-minded fasters. I love doing this with you. And if you're fasting as you're watching this, woohoo, we're doing it. Just because we're not together in the real world doesn't mean we can't join in community and do hard things together. If you're new, I'm Jackie and I've been intermittent fasting for the past four years. I've not only lost between 35 and 40 pounds depending on the day I've maintained that weight loss and I absolutely love this lifestyle unlike dieting I look forward to doing this for the rest of my life and I don't have like a oh my gosh is it done yet feeling I get the joyful fast I get the joyful eating window and I have so many benefits that I've gotten the last four years I have no plans of stopping and that's why I love to share this lifestyle with you it's simple it's enjoyable and it's extremely effective. And today we are starting a 72 hour fast for the community. We do these once every quarter, March, June, September, and December. And this is our September one. I still am gonna have an eating window today and then I'll start the 72 hour countdown. So I'll see you there. Okay, I'm about to close my eating window. It was open for two hours and 10 minutes. I opened it with cottage cheese and some crushed pretzels, basically the end of a bag. I had a sample of a couple different Panera pastries that my daughter and I tried out. And then I had a giant bowl of Wendy's copycat chili with some sour cream, Mexi shredded cheese, and Trader Joe's dragon hot sauce. So all of that was delicious. I closed my anyone now. I'm very satisfied. And the 72 hours started right now. Now that I've started the 72 hour fast, I'm gonna take a break and tell you about our sponsor, Element. Element is a total necessity on these longer fasts for me. Prior to adding electrolytes into my fasting regimen, I would get sore legs on these longer fasts. And I actually complained about it in one of my early vlogs. And you guys told me I probably should look into adding electrolytes. And let me tell you, that's the difference I needed. Adding elements, 1000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium not only keeps my electrolyte levels good, but it helps me to stay hydrated, fueled, and feeling good. And when I feel good, I'm much more likely to keep doing these 72 hour fasts. Whether it's a single serve packet or one of their sparkling electrolyte cans, I look forward to having an element every single day of this three day fast. Today I'm having sparkling water mixed with a raspberry element. I love all their fruity flavors such as grapefruit, watermelon is my personal favorite, chili mango. There are so many delicious flavors. Or if you're doing a completely clean fast without the flavors, they have a raw unflavored one as well. Right now, Element's offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. It's the perfect way to try eight of their flavors or to share Element with a salty friend. You can get yours by going to drinkelement.com slash fasting foodie. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash fasting foodie. Thank you so much to Element for sponsoring this video and helping me to stay hydrated this entire fast. Now I'm only one and a half hours into the 72 hour fast, but today is gonna feel pretty much like normal because I had an eating window already and I only eat one meal a day on most days. It's gonna feel business as usual. So nothing new to report, but I'll see you tomorrow morning, the start of the first entire day where I won't be eating. Good morning, day two, and I am about 55 and a half hours left in my fast, so 16 and a half hours in, and I'm at Panera. I've got my kids off to school. I did have to make their lunches, no sweat. And when people ask me about prepping food, one thing I wanna point out to you, I made my son a little homemade Lunchable nacho, so he had like cheese and salsa and tortilla chips. Then I put some smoked almonds in there, grapes, strawberries, and cut up celery. Was that food? Yes. Is that tempting to me at 6.30 in the morning? No. My daughter, I make in large batches cilantro lime rice with black beans and I store in cheese and Cholula. That smells really good in the morning, but is it something that I'm actually tempted to eat? No. And neither of those lunches are things that are gonna make me feel like I'm missing out on something. I know that I could have anything that's in either lunch in an eating window. So reminding yourself, okay, there's nothing super exciting going on here. There's nothing that it's a one-time opportunity. I'm making a lunch that I make every single day during the school year for my kids, no big deal. So reminding yourself that it's not a big deal to miss out on the foods, I think is like 90% of the battle. A lot of fasting comes down to mentality I've learned. And another illustration of that, I'm like super excited for the 72 hour fast. This is my first one since June. 
And after my June 72 hour fast, I did a five day fast and I instantly wasn't excited about that one. And again, it comes down to the mentality. Five days just sounded like so long. It's longer than I had ever done and it made me feel like I wasn't gonna eat in so long. I've done a lot of 72 hour fasts successfully. I've enjoyed them. So I come into each 72 hour fast like, woohoo, let's do this. And I'm doing it with the community. So just the mentality of your fasting, the way you talk to yourself, the way you phrase things like, we can do this, we've done it before, or other people that I know that like fasting do this regularly, if this is your first 72 hour fast, it can help to just pump yourself up instead of drag yourself down. And if you're around food, if you have to make food for your kids, really be critical. Like, is this something I'm actually missing out on? No. Chances are you're not having some once in a lifetime opportunity. Now, what I do is I'm a 72 hour fast. If I'm on vacation at a spot that I've never been and probably won't go or I won't go there again for a long time, no, because there might be once in a lifetime opportunities or things that you would miss out on. Those aren't the times to do the 72 hour fast. But when I'm home making lunches, I'm making easy dinners later, no big deal. With all that said, I'm at Panera. I'm gonna go fill up on my coffee and I'm actually going grocery shopping. So I'm heading to Aldi and to Meijer and I'm gonna get my groceries done for the week. And the cool thing is I'm not so far into the fast where everything's gonna look appealing. This is like normal hours for me that I'd still be fasting. So I'm gonna get my week of groceries, including two easy meals, the ones that I'm skipping, and I will catch up with you in a bit. See ya. Okay, since this morning, I'm gonna do half calf. I'm doing half decaf and half light roast. Later, I do switch to just decaf. Hello, I've done my grocery shopping, I'm back. I'm enjoying coffee. I'll probably refill this shortly here. Probably should drink some ice water, but I'm feeling pretty good. I have passed my normal 18 hour minimum and I definitely could go for eating. Like food sounds good, especially when I just did my meal plan for the week and linking recipes and getting my grocery video out. So all of that definitely gets me in the mood to eat food, but I know that what I'm doing is good for me. This longer fast is getting me into ketosis and autophagy. It helps me to maintain my weight loss. It helps me to regenerate new cells and replace the dead ones. That's what autophagy is, very basic explanation. But all in all, doing longer fasts, I feel like is a really great tool in my intermittent fasting tool belt. And I have great foods to look forward to. So while I'm not eating today or tomorrow, I know that I get my son's birthday dinner to look forward to. We're getting donuts from our favorite local bakery to have as his birthday cake on his birthday. I have that to look forward to. Thursday, I'm making a cheesy cauliflower soup and homemade bread bowls. All of that food that I shot for today and that I planned for, I get to look forward to later in the week, even though it's not today or tomorrow. I'm okay fasting. I know I'll get joyful eating windows again shortly. And in the meantime, I'm doing some good things for my health. So all in all, it's worth it. And I've adjusted. I know I can do three day fasts. So if you're struggling and you're looking forward to food, I'm there with you. I'm not really struggling. Food sounds good because I've just been doing all my meal planning stuff, but I'm gonna have some hot coffee, keep editing, and I have great food to look forward to later. I hope you do too. I also bought myself a really nice avocado. That's what I'll be breaking my fast with. Okay, just got the kiddos from school. We stopped at Panera, of course, and I got some sparkling water, which I'll be adding element to. Day's going good. I haven't made dinner yet though. What's for dinner, Alice? What'd you ask for? Homemade waffles. Yep, which I don't dislike them, but they're not my favorite either, so it's all right to miss them. Okay, so I made applesauce and apple waffles. Are you looking forward to it, Alice? Yes. I know that I can have waffles any night that I want, any OMAD, and it's not a big deal to make it. Does it smell good? Yes. Am I doing okay? Also, yes. And while my family's eating dinner, I actually made my daughter's lunches for the week. She's having salads, right, Alice? Yes. So I can spend my time getting things done. Busy's good on long fast. So I have cleaned up dinner and I have 45 hours left in the fast. And I am proud because I feel like the hardest part of every long fast is over. Skipping what I would traditionally eat that first meal, getting through that hump, my hunger was there. I normally eat dinner. I normally eat dinner with my family. I am well past when I would normally be eating but I've rode that wave and now I actually feel pretty good. I feel great, I wanted to get outside. I'm gonna go pick up some fresh decaf coffee from Panera before they close tonight. I'm gonna get my walk in. I'm listening to an audiobook right now and life is good. So I got through what for me is always the hardest, the first meal that I skip. 
after that my body's like okay well jackie's probably not eating and we know what to do go to thigh go to butt that's where my fat is really stored so i feel like i'm gonna be doing really good from this point on I have my electrolytes that I drank earlier, so I'm not worried about sore legs coming. I'm just gonna go on a walk, enjoy the gorgeous sunshine, and keep the hours ticking. I hope you are doing well if you are on your fast too. I was enjoying my walk, but the family picked me up on the golf cart when they were out. Okay, it's not long before I go to bed, but I am gonna have some sparkling water, something I look forward to in the evenings. I try to save this, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. And I'm really looking forward to bed. If you've done longer fasts, you know there's kind of a joy when it comes to going to bed because you know you're going to get a number of hours done in your fast without even thinking about it. You don't have to convince yourself of anything. You're sleeping. I'm going to have some of this and then I'll go to bed and see you tomorrow morning. Day three. I'm not quite yet into my third day of the fast, but it's the third day of the 72 hours. So I started late on Sunday. It's Tuesday morning. And I am 40 hours in, I have 32 hours to go, so I'm over halfway, that happened overnight, which is my favorite. I did wake up feeling like I'm definitely in ketosis, so I'm grateful for that. When I wake up and feel like I'm in ketosis, I feel almost a little lightheaded right at the beginning when I first get up for the morning, a little bit of like a fast heartbeat, but that goes away pretty quickly. I've been drinking more water, and soon I'm gonna get ready for the day and I have an appointment. So on my way to the appointment, I'm gonna get some hot coffee from Panera. I feel very good about the day as far as I look forward to, I have a lot of things. I have to prep for my son's birthday, wrap all of his presents. I have a PTG, parent teacher group meeting on the treasurer. I have to get my treasurer's report around and it's a longer meeting today. So that's gonna be taking up my evening. So I'm gonna get my family's dinner ready, go do that. Basically, it's a really, I have to meet with my tax accountant today. There's so many things in my day. It's a perfect day to not eat it all because I'm going to be just be going do, 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 one thing to the other. So woo busy days make for good, good, full fast days. My dog's chewing her bone. Sorry about that. But um, I'm going to go get ready for the day and then get Panera. I have a confession to make. So I have just over 25 hours left and I am quite hungry and I did it to myself. So earlier when I went to Panera, I got hot coffee and I had every intention of getting iced tea. But when I was in there, I don't know why I got Diet Pepsi. I almost never ever have that while I'm fasting because it doesn't make me feel better. It makes me hungrier. Well, guess what? I drank that Diet Pepsi and I'm hungry. I've tested in the past and diet beverages, as much as I would like to drink them while fasting, do not help. I almost never do this. But I'm sharing it with you guys, one, because I'll always be honest with you guys, same as me starting to have flavored element in my fasting window. I don't have the same reaction, so I don't mind that. It may not be that way for everyone, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say, I'm 100% doing perfect clean fast and telling you that I think that should be best while also doing something different. But I had the diet pop, I had a therapy appointment, an hour break, and then I had to meet my accountant. And Honestly, I just thought, oh, Diet Pepsi would be good. While I'm in between the time there, it'll be bubbly and refreshing. I'm gonna be sitting in my warm car. I don't know, I did it, and honestly, I regret it. So I'm sharing it with you for transparency and as a reminder that when you do things that aren't perfect or that you would normally like to do or you have decisions that are made that have consequences like I'm facing right now, feeling hungrier than I should at this point, it's a great tool to use to not do it in the future. Will I have diet pop on my next 72 hour fast? Very unlikely. I am reminded why I don't do it. It's not because I don't like diet Pepsi. I love fountain diet beverages. It's not because it didn't taste good. I liked it at the moment. It's because it makes me feel hungry and I'd rather this be an easier time. So I've made it harder for myself. I've made it less enjoyable and I have no one to blame but myself. So I'm gonna do what I should have done before. I'm going to get sparkling water and put element in this or I'll do iced tea, one of the two. I'm gonna have element at some point today, but I'm disappointed in myself and I thought I should tell on me. So there you go. Will I learn from this? Yes, I actually will. When I do things or I overeat in an eating window or I have too much of something, it helps me to not do the same decision in the future. And I think that's something that fasting has really, really been good for me. Without the diet rules, without having things that I absolutely cannot have, when I make a decision that doesn't feel good, 
I'm gonna change my behavior, not because of a rule or something telling me that I have to, it'll be because I'm like, you know what? This doesn't feel good, I don't wanna repeat this in the future. Or it'll take me a long time before I forget about it. Kinda of like childbirth, you forget what it's like in between your babies. I'm wishing I didn't have the Diet Pepsi. I enjoyed it in the moment but I'm not gonna have it again the rest of this fast. So yes, I've learned for myself that diet pops do not belong in my fasting window. It makes it harder. It's a fact, I have to deal with it. And most of the time I just accept it and I don't do anything, but today I was weak and now I'm paying the price. What do you know, I'm back at Panera. I'm actually on my way to the parent-teacher group meeting. I just got sparkling water, I added element to it, and earlier I got iced tea. So I'm switching up my drinks, that's one thing that helps me. I'm still kicking myself in the butt for having the diet Pepsi because it was a long time that I felt hungry for, much hungrier than I normally feel. But now I have 22 hours, so almost 50 hours in, which I'm super excited about. And here's the awesome thing. Tonight, PTG meeting. It's actually a longer one than normal because it's an open house trying to get new parents in than our normal meeting. Then I'm going to the Dollar Tree to get a birthday card for my son and balloons for his birthday tomorrow. I'm gonna wrap his presents tonight decorate the kitchen. So many things that are going to keep me busy. Then I'll go to bed and I'll wake up tomorrow. I'm a up day. So I'm excited because not only do I get my son's birthday, I love my kids' birthdays, but I get an update tomorrow. So double woohoo. And I will catch you later, probably while I'm wrapping presents. We'll catch up then. One other thing I want to share is I am putting some peppermint drops, which we keep in the car for car sickness, but I'm putting some on my tongue. Now I normally don't do this or gum, but if I'm in close quarters with someone, I'd rather them have peppermint than me have a perfect fast. And I'd rather um, save them from my keto breath, which I very much still get. So I just put a drop on my finger and then lick it. Um, just because if I put it right on my mouth, I might accidentally do too much. But again, I'm more about making fasting fit my life. I don't need to be perfect. I would rather not have nasty breath as I'm mingling with new parents at the school than have optimum everything. So that's the way I do it. Right, wrong, or indifferent. It is what it is. I didn't need more proof that Elsie is my mini-me, but she asked me to pick her up Wingstop after my PTG meeting. She is paying for this herself, and it smells divine. I won't lie, it's a little tempting, but not tempting enough for me to break the fast. We have 20 hours to go. I'm feeling good, but Elsie did me dirty with this one, I'm not gonna lie. Good morning, it's the morning of day four, my up day, and I break my fast in just over six hours. I'm very excited, and I have a busy day. It's my son's eighth birthday, I'm going now to deliver cupcakes to his teacher and then I'm actually going back to deliver him a birthday lunch He's getting a Jimmy John sub his pick and I love making my kids birthday super special whatever they want and The day is gonna be busy getting ready for his birthday doing some work stuff These six hours are gonna pass really quickly and then I'll break my fast I'm having black coffee, sparkling water this morning. We'll see if I have anything else before my eating window. I've reached a point that I feel super, super good. I'm not gonna ruin it with Diet Pepsi today, but I am hoping that you are feeling great too. If you are doing this along with me, I'm cheering for you. Go you! We can do this and when you get to the end, you feel so proud of yourself and you fully get to enjoy the up day. It is a great accomplishment. So I'm proud of you if you are on a long fast with me. High five. Okay, I'm outside my son's school waiting to deliver these, but I wanted to update you guys on something. I not once thought about weighing myself until today. I didn't even think of it. I didn't think of doing a before and after. That's how far weight has been removed from my mind. I'm actually really grateful for that. I used to weigh myself quite obsessively at the beginning of this. Every single day, I wanted to see the progress. I wanted to track it, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. I came to this for weight loss, so of course I was going to be tracking my weight. But I love that I'm in a spot that I don't think of my weight and it didn't even cross my mind to weigh myself as part of doing a three-day fast. I don't think five years ago you could have said you're going to not eat for three days. One, that would have blown my mind. But two, it wouldn't actually feel like a weight loss thing at all. I don't equate the two anymore. Yes, I know it helps me maintain my weight loss. Fasting, longer fast certainly does that. But I don't do the long fast for that reason. And I actually was like super excited when I realized that weighing myself and doing it before and after didn't even cross my mind. So I'm excited about that. 
The reason I do the longer fast, I want autophagy. I want to benefit from the varied fast. If I do the same thing every day, my body's going to get to a point where it feels normal and I won't reap the same benefits from fasting. So when I change my schedule, when I have longer eating windows, shorter fast, longer fast, shorter eating windows, all the variety, my body isn't going to get in a state of, I think it's called homeostasis, maybe not, but it's just not going to be normal. And I don't want it to feel like, oh, oh my God's normal. It's not going to benefit Jackie anymore. I want to keep reaping the benefits, but giving myself variety, challenging myself, I feel super proud every single time I do a three-day fast because it reminds me that I am stronger than the desire to eat, which wasn't the case four years ago. I still love eating, I still am excited about it, but I'm stronger than it. But I see the kids coming, so I'm gonna go. Okay, so it's the up day, and of course that means I need to be a little conscious of how I'm breaking my fast. I have an avocado, but then this is my tried and true, my favorite. It's fajita seasoned steak. I cut it up, I air fry it, I love it. I'm so looking forward to this. So fajita steak, I don't do anything, I don't season it, I buy it as is. Some people have messaged me that they tried it and they weren't fans. Well, one person did. I always feel bad recommending something and then someone doesn't like it, but I will say, I don't think I have like a very sophisticated palate where I like really find things. I didn't grow up eating that kind of stuff. So I don't know if that's the difference that it's not like a super expensive cut of meat. I don't know if it's over seasoned, but I like really seasoned food and it tastes delicious to me. So. Take it with a grain of salt. I love it, but I'm not super picky about food either. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I had to come out here and hide from my kids, but I officially passed 72 hours, let's see. I'm at 72 hours and seven minutes. Mom life got the best of me. So I had to focus on more than just this. I have air fried steak here. This is fajita season from Walmart. I just cut it up and air fry it. And then I have salt and pepper on my avocado chopped up. First bite of the last three days divine not only did i feel really good at the end of the 72 hours i feel accomplished i know i did good things for myself and i love proving to myself that i can go three days without eating so in between my normal eating windows is no big deal at all i am proud of you too thank you so much for being with me on this journey cheers and now i'm going to get to my up day i'm going to have at least a six hour eating window it's my son's birthday we're going to have pizza in the park in a few hours i'm going to have all the things birthday donuts instead of birthday cake I'm gonna love it all, I'll have no regrets, and I'm gonna see you later. If you're curious about how I break my fast and my thoughts that go into it, you can watch this video right here where I talk about easy ways to break longer fasts and make it easier on yourself. Thank you so much for watching, ciao down and ciao.